Good morning, Rabbi Isai. Ah, Lili Nishmasi Mimrosu Yusmus Mordechai. From the East Boko Magichir, Ari Esterson. In honor of other, and in the spirit of Purim, I thought you'd like this totally not staged picture of me reviewing a few David Chagiga while driving and holding my son. He goes. We have here. Oh, you got to hear this one. Tzvi Goldberg. Dear Rabbi Stefanski, hi again. This is the 13-year-old Lubavitch Bachar from Morristown. I got 20 people to join. Does that mean I get a free ticket? If yes, how do I claim it? Thank you for, I this guess we're... Like about so good. <laughs> yeah. He stood outside. He told his Rebbe he's going to put on tefillin. Meanwhile, he got people to join the da. He will be here, I guess. I put him in touch with Mark. Marad, and we'll see him. What's his name again? Tzvi Goldberg. He's going to be at the see him, I guess. Pini Nezmi. Dear Belly, I've been joining your shir since Moit Cotton with my Chavrusa Avi from Stanford Hill. And it was his birthday recently, so I got him an MDY cake for his 14th birthday. He's a 14 year old. And I really hope he can show it in shir. Thanks. From Eli Nezmi. It's Gishmak to do the daf. Ah! Here it is. <laughs> Uh, you can buy one of those cakes on our merch site. <laughs> My friend Shmuli Shmu Allman got three wisdom teeth out today. He joins for Chagiga and hasn't missed a day besides the first day. But he hasn't missed a day since that day. Also, he knows Woody, Chewy, and Kale Twins, so that makes up for missing the first day. Here is Shmu with gauze and blood in his mouth doing today's daf. Now you see the picture, you have a different appreciation for the picture. Let's see a picture of Woody Chu and the Kale Twins. Yeah, you want to see? Oh, he wants to see a picture of Woody Chu and the Kale Twins. Good. Good thing you asked. I'd like to see a picture. Oh, you want to see the real guy? Woody Chu and the Kale Twins. It's that every day I'm going to show you one more character that we have. This one is your typical five town Yavama, five town Yavama woman. It's all about Sneas. Here you go. Five town Yavama woman. <laughs> if you know it, if you look, there's a lot of detail. She has, I'm not kidding you, a Prada Yavamas, Masechtas Yavamas coming out of her bag. Right over here. Prada with the logo, with the whole thing. Tune in for more. We're going to match her up with Yossi Klein from Muncie. <laughs> okay, his name is not Yossi Klein. Mossy Flein from Muncie. Rabbi Isai, it's the last Sunday before Masech the Sivamis. I know you guys are struggling because it's Sivamis. It's not as gishmak to tell your friend, let's start Megillah, let's start Chagiga. It's, it's, it's Sivamis. This is going to be even more gishmak than anything you've ever known. Get your friend to join. Go to mjoindafyoimi.com. Joindafyoimi.com. That's that. Now, for the overseas visitors, we still have room. You're still invited. We have meals for Shabbosim if you want. We have places to sleep even. Not at my house anymore. Totally overbooked. Twice over. Going to be people sitting, sleeping in the hallways. Yeah, yeah, come, come. I have room. I, we have at least 12 people sleeping in my house. For $12,000, they could sleep in your bed. <laughs> For $12,000, they could sleep in my bed. I'll move into Noam's house. That's fine. All right. For no money in the world, can you learn with me, Chavarusa? I've already been asked. No. 50,000, 100,000. No. For 20,000, you could sit next to me and my chavrus and listen in. <laughs> That's about it. All right. Our boy's side today is Daf Chofei. And we're at what? Deadline for signing up for the Siyum. If you don't want to be charged double, and you don't want to sit there for 10 minutes or 20 minutes outside on a 
on the one computer we're bringing there for the, for the at the door signups. So sign up today, it's Kedai. And if you think they're gonna sneak in, Yishkeilu, they think, well, you have to get through three security guards with tasers, <laughs> German Shepherd. I'm, I'm serious, I'm bringing my, I have a bouncer on Purim, bringing him and, and his wife. Zog <laughs> Dehele Gemara. We discussed yesterday the Mishnah that there's a Chaymer. We, we said there's 11 or 10 Chumras that Kachim has over Truma. The Mishnah says, you know, we'll give you a bone, we'll give you something for Truma. Truma is a little bit more Chamer than. Oh, I missed those sponsors. As if I did them. I just threw them over here. Okay. Paras <laughs> Chaydesh. For the Koilo, Mr. Anonymous, Lil Nishmas Chayyab Bas Yosef, Mesechet Zchagig is dedicated by the Kesson of David's family, his Rufu Shlomo for Miriam Esther Bas Devari Bekaroiv. Paras Achoydish, as a schus for Rufu Shlomo Ben Livsha and Rivko Bas Gila, that they should be Zoycha to Zerish Kayama Bekaroiv. I want to welcome Akiva Salkowitz from America. Who are you with? Baruch Schaefer from. Your son does the daf. He's eight years old. <laughs> What, the guy from Tervidas? Yeah. Unbelievable. Wow, 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 wow. This kid is eight years old and Tervidas doing the daf. I'm telling you, they, 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 and we, we've heard them sometimes, they, you have no idea how much goes in. Listen, if they know all the actors and all the baseball players, these eight-year-olds know every single guy on the, on the Yankees, right? So why can't they know a little bit about Tum and Tyra? They have the capacity. Paris Achaydes, Shuli Rosenfeld, the memory of my dear friend Yudo Agenbaum. Paris Achaydes, another one. By the Lock and Lebevik families, Lakewood as a schos for our families. By Jonathan Davidov, in memory of Bechor Davidov, Ben Penir, may the Shoma have an Aliyah. Huh? Who? Oh, I said, I didn't say. Yeah, I did say. Okay. He wanted a Yiddish, that's what he meant. So, we said that there's Chumrod Truma over. When it comes to Kaidish, uh, Amaris is believed, but not believed for Truma. So we said Yehuda. What's Yehuda? So here's a map. Yehuda is basically Yerushalayim, this area right over here. So if the Amaris lives over here, he's believed for Kachim. He's believed that his kachim are tahar benaf for truma. Says the Gemara, what if he lives up here? And he has to go to the base of English down here. He's not believed. Says the Gemara, no. My time. You have this invisible line, this red line, let's say, somewhere over here. A bunch of kusis that live here. <laughs> the Kusim, Machlaik is always in the Gemara, did they convert? Geri Emes, Geri Arayas, did they convert because of the lions? They wanted to convert. At the end of the day, they weren't good people. They went back, Chazrul Asurim, they started doing Avedizar again, we got rid of them. They live over here. So what if they live over here? So wherever they live becomes like Eretz Amen, Like a different country. Different country is a problem to bring Kachim through. Why? Because of Ayal. We don't know where... The non-Jews bury their dead. They don't mark their caves, their, their graves. And the Kutim also, they're basically Goyim that converted. Maybe it's not a good conversion, but they have those Minhagim, the old Minhagim from the Haim. They bury their people and they don't put, they don't mark the Kvarim. So how are you going to walk here? To get from here to here, you're going to have to step over perhaps a, a grave and make your Kachim Tame. So that's why people from Galil are not in this. Ah, Maris that lives over here, we don't believe him anymore because he can't even bring it. Says the Gemara of Anasiv, Bishida, Teva, Umigdo. Simple explanation, Shida, Teva, Umigdo. This is from the Sefer, from Pirush Chai, from Mishach Shabbos. He was Nifter, but he gave me Rishos before he was Nifter. <laughs> Shida, Teva, Migdo. Okay, these are large boxes. Large boxes, if you put things in a box, that's very large. If it's a small box, not. But if it's a large box that you can't carry around, then it protects you from tumma, from oil. 
Here's a better picture of what a shida, like what a teva would look like. Here, if you're a chashva person, you go into one of these boxes, people schlep you. I don't know. <laughs> these are not real bacharim. These are, look closely, it's, they're here, it's not hats. Did I make a bracha? No. That's always one more edit for Yosef. He has to put the, do not, oh, he's not even here now. Zevishom Aleichem. Okay, anyway, so, Shida Tevo Migdol. If you're in this giant box, this could protect from oil emanating from the ground, from Tumah. You have a dead body in the ground. It goes, the Tumah goes all the way up. I just mentioned your name, Yosef. Just goes all the way up to the sky. Unless you're in a giant box that you can't carry by yourself. You need four people to carry it. So you could protect your kachim, bring it in this box to the base of English. Why not? What? Hold on, hold on. We're going to get there. Yes, thank you. Today, what's the sheet of the table Migdal called? I could do one of these. Why can't I come in? You can't carry this. Why can't I just come over the line and I'll bring my kachim? Says the Gemara, Mani Rebbe. Rebbe is of the opinion, the Omar oil zaruk, lashme oil, a moving oil, a helicopter, a box that's moving with people is not a good oil. Oil has to be stationary. What if you try this trick? Try to go through America, Chutzlaretz, in a box and say that you're not Tomei. Rebbe metame, he says it doesn't work. He says it does work. Ask the Gemara, but I have another idea. There is a Tzomit Puzzle. Shom Aleichem. What's your name? You're like Yaakov Lichter, and you brought George from Baltimore. Shom Aleichem. Yaakov, you also from Baltimore? Shom Aleichem. Ah, you're from that, you're on a trip. The Baltimore guys from Rabbi Lichter. Eichenstein Shul. We're not going to tell the rabbi. We're going to edit it. That's why I didn't. Uh, I didn't think it was okay for me to go speak to you guys. I was, gonna, I was afraid I was going to chop some of them. Okay, but it's a, it's still a torso track. You're allowed to come torso track. You're not coming chasrom to join the shir. It's time to see. Okay. We have an idea. We have a we have a trick. As we know, going back to that picture that I forgot to bring again with the mouse inside the klicheres. Klicheres, if you touch it on the outside, no tumah. The only way you can make a klicheres tame is by being inside the kli, in the ear space of the kli. Well, if I close the top of the klicheres, then there's no way to get, get tumah in there. The only way to get tumah is from inside the kli. Well, it's closed. Psil, summit puzzle. It's completely closed. So, the famous picture. Oh, here's the, that's the, Gary, thanks for finding it. That's the mouse that creates Tuma and Eklicheres. That's a glass, but since glass is see-through, I use that as a, as a Cheres. Fine. Shkoyach. But here, what about this? A little strange. You're in a plane, you see a guy in a plastic bag. In big letters, do not let children play with this. Danger of suffocation, and there he is. Some chacham batata even tied it up. I, I know he couldn't have tied it because his hands are inside the bag. So some guy did a nice knot, he's in there. I don't know, how, how long can you survive in a bag like that? I don't know. The story is as follows. You have to wear a mask He is... <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Factor wants to know if he wore a mask. During, this is for, they say this is at least 10 years old, why? Because today we don't have this issue, we do, and I'll tell you in a second, but Alal goes around the cemeteries. But if you don't go through a cemetery, a Kayan, based on Rebbe, cannot be on a plane. Why? Because a plane is an oil zaruk, it's a moving oil, and even though it's very large, weighs hundreds of tons, it's still not a good protection from, from the Tumah coming out of the cemetery. And he has the Isser to go over the cemetery. So Reb Yitzchak Zibberstein, I believe this is with the Askama of Reb, Reb Yashiv, says... You can jump the, a plastic bag. Why? I think. I, I don't know. I didn't look into it. I'm just, I'm serious. I'm thinking about this. Now, I'm thinking aloud that it's possible that a, a plastic, plas- what is it plastic? When Mashiach comes, what is this? 
Mashiach comes, what, they didn't have plastic. This is one of the best inventions of the last hundred years, right? What is this? It's possible there's a klicheres. Why? Because it comes from the ground. It's not metal. It has to fit into one of the categories in the Torah. It's not metal. I'm just thinking aloud. It could be I'm completely off. But it's not metal. It's not wood. The closest this is, resembles is something from the ground. It comes from oil, which is in the ground. I don't know. It's a byproduct of the ground. Maybe. So Mela, here's a klicheres. He says, go into a klicheres, tie it up, summit puzzle, it's all tied up, Tumah cannot get in, can't get out. This Kayan, because he got stuck on the plane, he didn't want to be ivory. He he's not such a Meshuggah, it looks crazy, but at the end of the day, Rabbi Yitzchak Zimshen gave him a hat. I just want to say that my partner, Bensi Freeman, he was already on a flight to come here on the United Direct from Chicago to Eretz Yisrael, and he found out that the United goes over the cemetery. So he forego his, you don't have the problem, Avi, but he's a Kayan, and he let it go. I guess he lost money, he lost a direct flight, it's a pain in the neck now. Now he has to go to New York, and from New York, whatever, he has to do something else. So it is an issue today, still an issue for Koyanim. Rabbi Schoenberg will tell us, what's going on, New, what do you have? Right, but not United. Elal, is so why, he's not a, he's not a super machmer, Benzi. <laughs> No, he's saying typically they won't fly over. No, we're talking about cem- ce- the cemeteries in Eretz Yisrael. No, that's not the problem. That, that we're not going to be chayshish. He's chayshish for huh? Yeah. Right. That right. This was a special situation. What? Changed. It changed. It's supposed to change, but I think it was it. This particular story, Benny knows the guy. Benny knows the guy, and he said it was a one-time thing. They said, Allah said, I'm sorry, we can't do it because of some sort of thing in the airways, and they couldn't do it, and they notified everybody, and he had to go home. So he put on a plastic bag as he got into Arizona. It wasn't the whole flight. As he got into Arizona, he Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Over here, you know, for a fact, you're flying over a cemetery. It's time to be chayshish. You have to get there. Says the Gemara. Omar Rebbe Lazar Shoinin. We learned in a Braisa, Eina Kodesh Nitzel, Bitsam and Pasil. What are you asking me? You ask me, go into a barrel that's completely closed. It doesn't work for Kachim. It works for everything in the world besides Kachim. We had yesterday. This is Chavivus of Kachim. Kachim is special. I'm not saying that that's the Pshad here, but in, when it comes to Kachim, we're extra super careful. There's no. It becomes Tame even in a klicheres that's completely closed. But Tanya, but I'll ask you a question. It says, Ein chatos nitzeles, but summit bas. We have the categories in the Mishnah. We have Chulin, and then we have Truma, we have Hegdish, and we have Paraduma. The problem is that it says, and you have to be Medayak here, it says that a Paraduma. If I want to bring the, the chatos, the, the water of the chatos, or the, the eifer of the chatos from Eretz Yisrael to America, I can't, I can't save it by putting it in a klicheres that's completely closed. Ain chatos nitzel is possible. So the simple diuk that any kid can make is, well, it seems like this is only the, the final category, the most severe category of eifer chatos. That's number five in the Mishnah. That's the only one that's not nitzel. Mashma, that everything else, truma and kachim, you could put in a klicheres. My lava kodesh nitzel. Lai. Hamayim sheinim kudoshim nitzel mitzel basel. In the category of, of, of carbon, of a paraduma. Paraduma, you take a bunch of ashes, you take the paraduma itself, you burn it with wood. So it and all the wood become the ashes. You take those ashes, you mix it with water. The water out of the sink, or not out of the sink, out of the mayon, that water, you're also you're shipping it in these two liter bottles, whatever you're shipping it. That could be saved from Tumah. If you put it in a summit puzzle, you put it inside a klicheres that's completely sealed. But the ash is not. So your dik is good, but in the category of paraduma, we're not going all the way to the other category. We're not talking about other categories. In Paraduma, one thing you could put in a, in a klicheres, one thing you can. You cannot put the ashes, you could put the water. 
As the Gemara of Amar Ula, Chavraya, Midakan, Bigalila. In Galil, the, the, the Chaverim, those who are Makbir on Tum and Tahira, they used to be Metair, their wine, for the Mizbeach. Where did they live? Let's go back to the chart. They lived up here, in Galil. What business did the Chaverim have making their wine tar? They can't get here. There's no way to get here. We just established there's a, a visible line here. There's a bunch of kusim that live here. There's a bunch of graves. So why Chaveraya, Mitar Yayin? Yes, there's no Beis Hamikdash. They're doing it for the future, but they're never going to be able to get here. Says the Gemara, they never try to get there. Menichin, they put it in storage. Look, They put it away, hoping that Mashiach is going to come any minute. And when he comes, Mashiach will show you here. If you go through this alley, nobody ever buried a body here. I'm telling you, you can go right through. We don't know. For us, it's all the same. We can't differentiate. The Yana will tell you where. As everybody knows, you'll insert your stories here of the, the, the tremendous Mashgichim, the Chavetz Chaim, people that, uh, Reb Hill Zaks, that they lived every day. Mashiach is coming. They had a special suit. They had a uh, Bachar and Bor, Reb Hill Zaks, a sword, so you can fight off the Amalekim when Mashiach comes. So he's running around with a sword. Eh, different thing. People that lived on a different... So they, these are Chaverim. They made wine because Mashiach is coming tomorrow. What do you mean? I need wine for my, for my carbon. <coughs> Where do I put it? I put it in my closet until Mashiach comes. Then I'll take it through the shortcuts. Now we learn the Mishnah Mishnah Sagita is Nehmanim Afalat Truma. Special dispensation, a special kula that when it comes to the wine pressing and the oil pressing, then even Amaritz is believed that it's tar. And we said yesterday, we're going to see it today again on Amad Beis, the reason is because that is when, oh, that's very nice of you, Gary, I like it. Look what he said, oh, he's talking, Edel, time's up, it says. Shkoyach. <laughs> that's just to get us all calm, and all of a sudden, Shkoyach. <laughs> By the way, I'm not kidding. I, I'm going to forget to tell you. So I'll tell you now because nobody's listening. At the seum, we should also have a buzzer or something because people will be allowed to speak three minutes. Let's say, buzz them out. Uh, like Virmini. <laughs> so we said the reason is because the farmers are amaratsim, right? You guys that weren't here last night, I'll tell you the secret. Farmers b'derachlal are amaratsim. And then Mela, if they're Amaratzim, the Kayahana are going to lose out. The Kayahana of Chaverim that are Makbir on Tum and Tahira, they're not going to get any food. All the food is processed through Amaratzim at the end of the day. Farmers, people are not learned, they don't know the Allahs. So they're not going to get any true Mamaiser. So Mela, we said, at a sp- particular times, since anyways, every, the people are very into cleaning the Kalim and the Matar the Kalim, and the Kayahana should lose out. Okay, we get, let the Kayahana. Take from Amaritzim. Says the Gemara Viramini, Hagoy Mir Zaisov, a person who's collecting his olives. Now here's a guy collecting olives. He's an Amarit. Amarit. Yeshayer Kupa Achaz Vitnenalaani. So there's a Shaila here, what the gear says. Is it to the poor person or Le'ene Koyim? It could be, it's very, it's very possible that the, the gear says, I'm not poskening what the gear says, but Le'ene means that the Kayim must see what's going on here. Because what's happening? These are olives. You put a bunch of olives in a giant box, what's going to happen? You're going to start crushing each other. You crush each other. Oil is going to start coming out of it. Oil is one of the seven liquids that's machshir an olive to be makabal tuma, right? In order for an olive to become tame or any fruit, you need liquid. You need to pour water on it. You need to pour olive oil on it. Milk, dew, honey, whatever. So here it has built in oil that's going to be machshir. Well, if the farmer or whoever the Amaritz wants the oil on it, then it's tummy. But if he doesn't want the oil, it's not tummy. Now, does the farmer want the oil? Think about it. Does he want the oil? No. He doesn't want oil now. It's going to get ruined. It's going to fall out the bottom. He's not at the factory yet. He's still by the trees. He's gathering the olives. He's putting them in a giant basket. You see, here's a net. He's in the process of gathering. He doesn't want oil. So what he should do is, before he's done, done, and he's back at the factory, set aside a box for the Kayan, 
Let the kain see, le'ene, la'ani, whatever the word is. The point is, let it be in a situation where he didn't want the oil. But once he's done, then he doesn't give it to the kain. But what do you see? If he's done gathering, he doesn't give it to the kain. Why not? Because we don't believe him. But we just said that during the gathering, during the pressing of the olives, even Amaris is believed. So what difference is it if he gathered it, he didn't gather, he should always be believed. Amaris is always believed during the pressing. That's the Gemara's question. The Mishnah is talking about the early in the season. But later in the season, then he's not believed. Why? Very posh. After the season is over, it's not depressing anymore. Not depressing. The pressing. We said uh, Amaris is believed during the pressing season. We're talking about after that. A few weeks later, he doesn't have Nemanus anymore. That's what we're saying. So give the box before it's too late so he can see it, the client will see it with his own eyes. Everything is good. Okay. What does that mean after the season? It says, like your father, his, his always grew late, he always did it late. That's how, that's how it is. Exactly what the Gemara is trying to point out here, I'm not exactly sure. Rav Yosef Omar, I was thinking like, what? No, but we're saying that this is not uniform, this is, this is early and this is late. So obviously this is not uniform. Mm. You're saying his father was compared to everybody else, he was late, but I hear, it. very nice. No, I'm saying that even though his father every year had it at the same time, but nevertheless, there's a pressing season and that was after the pressing season. It doesn't matter that he did it every year like that. Says the Gemara, Rav Yosef Omar, Bigalilo Shanu. So in Amaret, what, what do you say? Very impressive. Very impressive. Very good. Rav Yosef Omar, Bigalilo Shanu. Make any joke you can get on this topic. No, he had a good one. I kind of ignored it, and when I was saying drowsy, the guy was, the guy was doing the tractor. So every shear, you're drowsy. So it's it's you're now it's illegal to operate heavy equipment when you're drowsy. But now when you're doing the MDY shear, that was his bar, something like that. Okay, you're not drowsy then. Rabbi Yisrael Amar Begalil So again, you're asking me how come the Amaris is not believed? He's only believed on a, on a box before. During the gathering, no oil, yes oil, only then he's believed. You know why? Because it's in Galil, it's up here. That's why. Up here, they're not believed. That can't be. Aver Yardin. Aver Yardin, if you look right over here in the map, everything past this line is Aver Yardin in the Jordan. The Galil, it says Mufurish, Galil. What you just told me that Galil, Amar is not believed, it says Galil. Harein ki Yehuda, it has the same halacha like down here in Yehuda. Nemar ala yayin mishas yayin, ba'a shem mishas Hashem. Amaris is believed during the pressing of the wine and the, and the olives. Avalai ala yayin mishas Hashem, and of course he's not believed in a season that doesn't belong to him for wine during the season of pressing of the olives. Avalai ala shem mishas yayin. Says the Gemara. So you see that Amaris is believed in Galil. So again, the question is, why? Is the Amaretz not believed? Like the Tarsus said before, that's after the season. It's late in the season. That's why he's not believed. He's only believed while people press their olives, not afterwards. It says in the Mishnah. Yeah, they had a lot of shaman. They had a lot of shaman. Roiv means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If it's already past the season of pressing and Amar shows up with a nice gift, the kind shouldn't take it from him. He should put it on the side. They ask the question, what if the coin took it? He took it, but he doesn't want to use it right now. He's going to use it next season. 
We said that the Amaris himself could bring that barrel of wine next season. So what's the difference that Amaris brings me that barrel of wine? I recognize it from last year. It's good. So I'll take it for you. I'll save you all the effort. I'll put it in my closet. I won't use it. So what, what's the halacha? Are we concerned? You might open up in the middle of the year. You might forget. What's the halacha? We learned. So, just to say this real quick. Sponsored by Moshe Horn. Unfortunately, this is going bye-bye. This woody chewing kale. Uh, okay. In honor of Shmuli Sugar, the original sugar shaker. <laughs> you guys can get used to that one. <laughs> Sponsored by Moshe Kinsbursky. In honor of Brian and Talia. Look. Moshe Yorin Dailam loves your, your sponsorships. Keep them coming. Again, in honor of Shmuli Sugar, the original sugar shaker. <laughs> it's very sad when the only entertainment on the DAF is the turning of the DAF sponsorship. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> Quick story. I'm not exactly sure about all the details. You could look it up. Something to this effect where there were, uh, this is a true story. There, were, there was a guy that went through the, the war and his father also survived the war, but his father was Nikshal at the end and he married a Nanju. And a very wealthy man. And when he died, he left $50 million to his, to his Yarshim. But he had a kid that was not Jewish. Now, a fight erupted at the, at, the, at the funeral. The Jewish son wanted to do Kfuras Yisrael. And the non-Jew said, let's cremate him. Put him in a Christian cemetery. Big fight. And they paskined. So first he offered him a million dollars. Give me a million dollars. He says, no. If you give me your entire Yerusha, then I'll, I'll do what you want. So they paskined, I think, if I remember correctly, they paskined that he has to give up his whole Yerusha. Because Kfuras Aviv comes before Yerushas, Yerushas Haben. If those are the numbers, $25 million to bury his father, Kfuras Yisrael. Anyway, so ha- this is the story. Nothing to do with our Sugi, of course. So you have a Chamer and Amaretz. You have two sons. You have a, one that's Makbin on tu- Truma, on Tahara, Tumen Tahara of Amaretz. An Amaretz. She Yerushas Avim Amaretz. The father was also an Amaretz. Now what's the concern? The concern is that the product, that the yarshin, the wheat, the different fruit, they were muhsher lekabel tuma. The father along the way poured water on it and he was happy with the water or whatever it is. And now it's tummy. The chavr doesn't want it. He doesn't want tummy food. He knows his brother probably touched it, whatever it is. The father touched it, he doesn't want it. Kim tzachayin, tzachavek, v'shtay tzadotin, nu, kim very interesting halacha. If they're dividing, if they're dividing one type of item, they're dividing wheat. There's a hundred acres of wheat. I take fifty, you take fifty. Yeah. So what does that mean? Yes, brera. Yeah, we learned it yesterday. Don't forget. Yes, brera. Retroactive clarification says the Halig Arts rule. You can go back and say, this is exactly what the father inherited. 50 to you, 50 to you. I, I own one wheat within every wheat and you own one. No, but once we divide it equally, I get 50%. You get, that's what my father left. 50 for him, 50 for him. That's okay if it's one item. But what if I say, one brother says to the other, you take the wheat and I take the barley. That's impossible to say, retroactive clarification. There's no brera on two separate items. The father obviously gave over half of each item. I can't say. So what is that? That's a mechira. That's a deal that happened after the death. Well, you now I make a deal with the Amaretz. That's an iser to give the Amaretz food that he's going to be metama, says Rashi, if naive, I see the mechshol. There's an iser for him to be metamet. I'm giving him that. Inside. I'll take 50% of wheat, you take 50%. That's great. Great. Brera. Oh, I want to get rid of the problematic material here or food. And that's the wet, the, 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 the food that became Mushal Kabal You take that. I'll take the dry. 
What? Yeah, but he's going to eat it. It's a different thing. Shiloh, what he's going to do with it? Some say he's even a kayan. He might eat a betuma. Different things. So, Vani Yovesh, Tala Tachitim, Vani Soirim. What's the problem? Yeah, so in this problem of giving Stam a Shiloh, a Halachal Maisa, it happens. You have it, you say there's somebody that's not Shreem Shabbos. We know that the yayin becomes osir. He osir's wine. Are you allowed to give him a bottle of wine? The same problem that we have over here. You're giving that ma'aretz food that's going to become osir. I'm giving this guy non-mavushal wine that he's going to osir on the spot. Is that a problem or not? They talk about it. Says the Gemara, The chaver, he could use the oil for burning, the, the moist stuff that he doesn't want to use, so let him use it for candles. According to what you're telling me, that you might be able to leave it for the following year, let him leave it for one year. Says the Gemara, you're right, but there's no riot from here. We're talking about something like dates. He's trying to make beer out of dates, says Rashi. There's no, there's no pressing. There's nobody presses dates. So let him at least Leave it until Yantif. Over there, the Amaris is also believed. The kids say, we don't have a raya. At the end of the day, we don't know what to do. I'm asking you a question. If the coin was over and he put his barrel that he got from the, he couldn't resist. A whole giant barrel of Castell wine. 2004. He gives it to him. What do I do with it now? If I tell him to take it home, he's not going to bring it back next year, maybe. So I'll take it. I'll, wait, I'll watch it myself. Shiloh. Vimama refrashti letoich is like 10 lines down. There's a trick here. Damaretz is believed on all kachim. Why is he believed on all kachim? Because if you don't believe him and you don't accept his wine for a carbon, he's going to open up his own base amigdash. So he's believed on all kachim. So I have a barrel of wine. Most of it is truma, but there's a tiny amount in it that's kachim. So we believe him on the kachim, and because we believe him on the kachim, we have, must believe him on the truma. Why? Because if we don't believe it on Truma, it's a disgrace for the Kachim. You're telling me that the Kachim is mixed in with Tomei. And I'm going to use that Kachim on the Mizbech. So therefore I must say that the wine in the barrel, all of it is good. And that's why I'm allowed to use part of it for Kachim on the Mizbech. Because it's all tar. There's something Rabbi I called the Vesa Pras. Why not? Go over it again. Jonathan Stefanski is going to get annoyed at me. But for the new guys. Here you have a field. Somewhere in this field, there was a body buried. Look, they plowed the field. The tractor went through. There's a big problem. We don't know where the bones are. Now, we're not choshish for oil. We're not choshish for oil. Why are we not choshish for oil? Because oil means that you didn't really touch it, you didn't move anything, but it's down in the ground and it's going to pop up. The tomb is going to pop up. I'm not choshish, why? Because he plowed the field. And the only time you have oil is if you have some of this. You have to have the skull, you have to have most of the bones, you have to have large bones. It, it, it's a pro- That's not a problem over here. We, a tractor went through this. So what is the problem? Perhaps there's a tiny fragment of bone, a little piece that, that survived the tractor. And if it's a small piece, and you move it, bimaga, you touch it, ve'etzim kisaira is not metame ba'ayil, says Rashi, only bimago bimaso. So if I, if, I, if I touch it with my foot, I move it, then I'm tame. So it says like this, shabayt kim loisei pesach. A guy is coming from chutz laretz, terrorist Yisrael with his sheep. He wants to bring a car in pesach, and he falls into this uh, dead end. He can't go anywhere. He's stuck. There's a whole field over here. His narrow path. As he's, as he's going down the, 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 the hills of Yerushalayim, up the hills, what is he going to go? Turn around? He's going to miss the whole thing. He's stuck. It says, big sign, base of pras. What does he do? I get down on all four, as the Gemara is going to say, and I check. Is there any fragment of bone throughout the whole field? That's only for somebody bringing a carbon Pesach. Vein baitkin loichli truma, as Rashi is going to, the Gemara is going to explain soon, or Rashi explains it, because somebody that's coming to eat truma doesn't have a good excuse. Let him go to Yerushalayim with his truma. 
And what's the problem? Maybe he's tummy? Okay, so let him wait, seven days. He'll say, I went through a base of pras, and they'll sprinkle him on the third day, they'll sprinkle him on the seventh day with the, uh, the paraduma water. He'll go to the mikvah, then he'll eat his truma, betahara. There's no reason for us to, to, to let him go through this field. But a carbon Pesach, he's going to miss it. Or Rabbi Yudam Shmuel, what do you do? What is the picture of Minapeach Beis Apraz Vailach? No, no, chas v'shol. We don't do Goyesha sports times. I, I looked again last night. I couldn't find the picture of a guy blowing on the floor. I couldn't. What am I going to do? He has tcheles. Where's his tcheles? When he's blind? Right over here. He's wearing tcheles. And he has a yarmulke. His name is Michal Yarden. That's his name. It's not, not with the person you know. Chav Gimel. If he gets down, Mamish Pashat, gets down and blows the floor. For all those who say, you know, I'm stopping to come to the shir because he showed some shagids in the shir. So there's a guy that told me, Maisa Shoya, he is, I can't say what he does, but he's, he, he promises me that he brought 100 people to the shir through his business. He has a certain business, I'm not going to go into it because it's anonymous. Certain thing, he brought one, over 100 people to the shir, he's here, and he said the only reason why he started the shir is because of something similar to this. He started with that, and once he came, so... We might lose a couple of guys on the way, but we have his, his hundred guys. Says the Gemara, Rebbe Chiyah Barabba Mishmei Du'ula Omar, Nachman is about to leave right now. Rebbe Chiyah Barabba Mishmei Du'ula Omar, Beis HaPrashin, don't smile, don't. Beis HaPrashin, Yiddish Tar, Lo Yisab Pesach. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. Beis HaPrashin, Yiddish Tar. If a lot of people walk through this all day long, all day long, we don't have to worry about it because that fragment is bye-bye. For somebody bring a karm Pesach because it's a karis and the pshat is he only has one day to do it and if he doesn't do it it's farfalin so he has to we let him blow through the field likely truma since Rashi explains since the seven days let him just wait there and he's able he has plenty of time to do it afterwards. Now that I know that a guy that's bringing carbon Pesach, he's allowed to blow through this and check to see if there's any fragments. So he checked it for the carbon Pesach. Could he also schlep around his truma? It sounds very familiar. You know why? Because that's exactly what we were just learning. If a person has a little bit of kachim in his barrel, it's also good for truma. Truma, he has no nemonis. But since he has nemonis on the kachim, he has nemonis on the truma over here also. Since he checked for the carbon Pesach, I'm going to use that checking also for Truma in this situation only. Interesting. I looked in the art scroll, it doesn't bring it, but usually, Ausab is Eliyahu Navi. Comes Eliyahu Navi, says, I'm telling you, Ullah knows what he's talking about. This is not. It's not going to say, it says in our Mishnah, if, he per, if the Amar is believed on Kachim, says, I put what. Oh, in Hebrew. I looked in the English one. Sorry. Sorry. The, okay. Does the English one say? Because I looked in the English one. I should have looked in the Hebrew. I'm a, by the way, personally, I don't want to get into a big thing. For pshat, just simple pshat. If you could do the Hebrew art scroll, it's much better than the English, in, in my opinion. I don't want to knock the art scroll. I love the art scroll. English also. But they put the pshat on the top. You don't have to go to the bottom for the pshat. In English, they give you literal translation of the words most of the time. And to understand why those words are there, you have to go to the bottom. The Hebrew will stick in the pshat into the top. Very, very different. What? No, because it's not going to tell you a pshat of toy. That's not pshat. Again, by the way, that's whoever wasn't here yesterday. Why is it the, the, what do I do with this revise that's in my barrel? What do I do with it? The barrel is truma, and there's one revius of, uh, you do breira. It's called breira. Alma, since I believe him for kachim, I believe him in truma. Chanami, in our case also, since he checked the field for Pesach, let's go a little bit more. Why not? No, I said, the oil is very uh, antsy over here. What's going on? Should we do a little bit more? It's fine. It's, uh, we're going to finish. Uh, look, look at look at Daf Chavzayin. We have to make Daf Chavzayin. We don't know what to do on Daf Chavzayin, and part of it is for the Siyum. So Memela, tomorrow we're not going to finish the old Daf Chavav, anyways. But let's let's do a few more lines. We're not stopped. 
Pana. Einem monem loyal kakana veloyal atshuma. Dama Ritz is not believed on the barrels. He's believed what's inside the barrel, but not the barrel of loyal atshuma, not the truma that's inside. Says Gemara kakana the What kind of barrels are we talking about? Ikakana the kodesh. Did the barrels that are holding the kachim. Migu de mehem and kodesh. Mehem and amaya kakana. Why shouldn't it be believed? And it, it, it's the same story that we said before. It's a disgrace to say that it's not tahar, that it's tame, what I'm going to bring kachim to the Islam English, that have tame barrels. El kakanim de truma. So we're talking about the barrels of truma. Pshita, that's not a chiddush. Hashla truma lo mehemen. Even the truma itself is not believed. The Amar is to say that it's tahar. El kakanim de truma. He's going to believe on a non truma item, on the thing that holds the truma. Elo, we have to say, berikonim de kodesh u bishayim oisashana. We're talking about empty barrels of, ka- of kachim and the rest of the year, and he's believed on that. He's not believed on that. Ubemelein de truma ubishas hagitois. Unbelievable. During the pressing season, where I believe that Mars 100%, not for the barrels. So what's going on here? Says Rashi, look at Rashi. Ubemelein de truma bishas hagitois. She'afapi. Shali gozrael truma sam bishas hagitois. It's interesting. You have to go all the way to this Rashi. You have to go too deaf into the Sugi to see this amazing Rashi that explains the Sugi in the beginning. The whole reason I trust the Amaris during the pressing is so that the Koyhanim can get a lot of food. But on the barrels we don't trust them. They don't take the barrels. They make the Amaris pour it out of their barrel into my barrel. Okay, weiter. No, it's not going to be Tomei. So you're asking me, it doesn't make sense. You're right, it doesn't make sense. In, tr- in, in these kind of things, in Xeris the Rabbanon, we're able to do something like that. We're able to make a combination where the food itself is tar, the clay itself is not. It's not a dry rice, it's the Rabbanon. You're right, it, it's hard to understand. Hello, we're going to the Kajim Shayim, the Kajim Shayim, the Fine, well, let's, let's stop right over here. Rabbi Sai, have a wonderful day.